The next step after the Advisor Master account has been approved and funded is to log in to the Advisor Portal. The Advisor Portal is a free and powerful client relationship management platform for advisors on the IBKR platform. It offers a suite of tools for managing the full client acquisition and client management lifecycle. Let's take a look. Click the login button on the IBKR website. Enter your username and password. In the main section of the screen, you can see several tabs, the first of which is the dashboard. On the left, you'll see the application menu where you can trade, view reports, transfer and pay, etc. If you have any questions, you can click on the support menu item. You can see if you have any notifications by looking at the bell icon and see a number displayed. Just click on the number to see the notification menu. You can change your language setting on the top right and click on the farthest right arrow to log out. To maximize screen space, you can reduce the side menu display by clicking the application menu icon, those three horizontal bars, to the upper left of the page. In a moment, we will take a tour of the on-screen display, but to really get started, users will need to first create a Rackspace password. Let's take a step back and explain. Interactive Brokers brings together everything to make the Advisor Portal a one-stop venue for managing the client experience. Rackspace provides secure cloud-based storage and email integration. Because advisors may be handling sensitive client documents, those documents, along with all functions associated with the calendar, events and contacts, must be password protected and only available to you and not Interactive Brokers. And so the first thing to do is to create a Rackspace password. In addition, you should also consider adding a mailbox to Advisor Portal using Rackspace with your existing email address. Your current email will still work as it does right now, but if you apply to Interactive Brokers for an email box, you will have point and click functionality right inside the Advisor Portal. We'll discuss this further when we talk about the email tab. To create a Rackspace password, from the application menu, click on Settings, User Settings, and from the Login section, locate the item for CRM Rackspace Password. Use the gear icon to create and save your secure password. Remember, by creating this password, users can use calendars, tasks, events, and documents. We will explain email integration later. Back on the main display is the Dashboard tab. Let's familiar ourselves with the layout of this page. Pending items and recent activity allow advisors to maintain an eye on the status of tasks that may be created and performed within the portal. The display can be quickly sorted in ascending or descending order by clicking a column header and scrolling. To the right is a notifications area where inquiries and corporate actions will appear overall assets under management, and the year-on-year -year percentage return is aggregated across clients and displayed in the plot to the right. Use the mouse to hover over the display for additional detail. Below are today's calendar events with a link to the full calendar view. Use the arrows to toggle to a different date. To the left, tasks, notes and documents are listed and can be added using the icons to the right of each section. Within the pending items table above, clicking on an account ID Hyperlink opens contact information per name or account. The contact information tab displays a profile for the client, the configuration setup for the account, and financial information. Above the configuration section are three icons to email the contact, send an electronic invitation to open an account, or to export the contact information. Back at the dashboard, let's examine the tabs to the right contact. This is a directory of all of your contacts that have been added to the advisor portal. From this area, users may add contacts, configure the page display, and filter the results shown. Find a contact by entering information into the search bar and clicking on the magnifying glass. I should note that records can be saved with very little information. You can save a prospect with only first and last name and can always add more information as the relationship develops. You can drill down on each contact by clicking the icon. Fee Administration From the Fee Administration tab, users may configure client fees and templates, create invoices and reimburse fees. 
Groups. Here's where you can organize your contact records into groups. Transaction history. From the transaction history tab, advisors can search and view activity for the last 90 days by transaction type, method, and status. Here, users can quickly recall inbound and outbound wires, bill pay items, position transfers, and the status of requests. Calendar. The calendar may be viewed on a monthly or daily basis by using the buttons to the upper right. Appointments created here will display also on the dashboard view as they approach. As we mentioned at the beginning, Interactive Brokers partners with third-party cloud management solution provider Rackspace in order to store emails, notes, tasks and documents for each contact. Interactive Brokers neither stores nor has access to that data. When you first look at the email tab, you will see the following display on screen. Advisors must first request a mailbox hosted by Rackspace before this important functionality can be used. Use the button on the page to request one from Interactive Brokers. Once opened and mail settings have been configured, your email functionality is accessible from the dashboard. There are some caveats about email addresses. You will need to use an established email address with a pre-existing email domain for Rackspace to create the inbox. You may not use public domains such as Yahoo, Gmail, Hotmail or Outlook. Finally, note that by integrating Rackspace email, you will face some ongoing costs, although these are the only costs associated with our advisor portal. In the next lesson, we show you how to add contacts and prospects to the advisor portal.